You are now the pilot non-flying and currently flying at your cruise flight level, everything is normal. This is a demonstration of a PAC-1 overheat in flight. Let's look at the indications. A failure message and associated have appeared on the engine warning display. The ECAM bleed page has been automatically called to show amber indications and a fault light has illuminated on the air con control panel. Observe that. The pack flow control valve has closed, cross line amber. This occurred automatically when the overheat was detected to protect the pack from damage. The compressor outlet temperature has also turned amber because the temperature limit has been exceeded and high flow is automatically selected on the remaining pack. The first step on the ECAM is to turn pack 1 off. This is to match pack push button switch with the pack valve position and also as a preparation to reset the pack. Note that the fault light on the pack push button switch is on. I'm about the OE. When pack one is turned off, the off light illuminates white in the pack one push button switch. But notice that the fault light is still on because the overheat is still present. The completed procedural step disappears from the engine warning display. The compressor outlet temperature is now decreasing. Let's move on to the next step of the procedure, which is not an action but a condition line. We have to determine if the pack overheat is out. Few minutes later, you observe that. On the air panel, the fault light on the pack 1 push button switch goes off and the compressor outlet temperature indication is green. So we can conclude that the overheat is no longer present. Therefore you can turn pack 1 back on. Everything is now back to normal. The pack is reset. Now let's see other pack abnormal indications that you can encounter. You were in flight and the air cycle machine of pack 2 has failed. In this case, the bypass valve opens automatically allowing the air to bypass the air cycle machine. The bleed air is now cooled by the heat exchangers only. Notice that on the ECAM bleed page, the bypass valve is indicated by a green arrow and on the engine warning display, the amber message confirms that pack 2 is operating in bypass mode. Note on the ground, with an air cycle machine failure, ECAM will advise you to switch the affected pack off to avoid an overheat. You are on the ground and this time both channels of the zone controller have failed, as indicated on the engine warning display. On the ECAM con page, observe that pack reg appears in green, meaning that the temperature is regulated by the packs only. The packs deliver a fixed temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. Pack flow and temperature selections are lost and all temperature indications are also lost. 